down. So the kids and I stayed home this evening from the Wednesday market. We're just hanging out inside right now. It's hot. Oh. Kids are playing video games. I'm supposed to be picking up the house. I'm playing Fortnite. I'm playing Fortnite. But I don't feel I'm like it right Fortnite. now. So, I'm stalling. But I do want to go back outside again soon. After it cools off a little bit. Thinking about maybe showing you guys a little mini garden tour of our progress of how the garden is going. But it is a little wild and untamed out there right now. I have a few spots that I need to run the rototiller around to get rid of a lot of the weeds. I don't know when I'll do that. Say hi Sawyer. So I finished up cleaning and then I checked my poles. And you guys all said yes, that you wanted to see a little mini tour. But if you also noticed, I didn't really give you guys the option to say no. Because <laughs> I was basically going to show you guys anyway. I just thought it would be fun to see you guys push the button, I guess. So, um, I'm going to flip the camera around. So it's still little. So this is what it looks like for now. These are all of our rows that um, honestly Alex has been planting in these rows and I don't really and some of them I know what he planted but some of them I don't know we have um, like some zucchini some summer zucchini some tomatoes some beans um, like pole beans peas so then we have a I don't know if you can see my light I can't see with the glare on the sun. But we have a row that goes down this way with a fence. And we have all of um, something. <laughs> beans or peas that he planted over there. Right here, down these three rows, it's just tons of beets. And there's our greenhouse. On the side of the greenhouse over here, he planted some onions. And I'll show you inside the greenhouse in a minute. And then... Over here, this is where it becomes a jungle. This has been my like portion that I've been playing with, so it is my fault why there are so many weeds over here. Here's the fence that we were building. Um, the posts that we went up to the mountains to get are right here for part of our fence. There's a gate and just some. So I just planted some cute little flowers this year. I can't remember what that one's called, but it's vining. So I hope that it would climb and go along our fence um, eventually. I have some peonies right there. And, oh, this part's fun. I have some garlic, some herbs, my little greenhouse. Uh, right now I have it over some flowers. They're slowly growing. And everything is on a drip system here. So we don't really... It conserves a lot of water and a lot of time. And um, super easy. So uh, this is what I need to come in. I need to come in with the rototiller and till up everything inside this dome. <laughs> It's just, nothing's planted in here, it's just like, whatever. And so I planted a bunch of sugar snap peas all over the place. And this is just like one, like a little, I don't know, foot and a half, maybe two foot section of random snap peas. And I already have some growing. This one I can eat. Maybe I'll pick it for dinner. Um, and then I planted these guys all around the outer like perimeter of uh, we have a dog that likes to come in here and lay down so frustrating but um can't have anything nice kids or dogs <laughs> but um we have like I planted all these around the dome because I want them, as they grow taller, I'm going to um, let them grow up the side 
thought it would be a cute little place to see. And I'm going to vine them up the sides of the dome. I'm hoping that they'll grow pretty tall, tall enough. And that's one reason why I want to till in here because I want to put some little chairs in here so that later in the summer when they provide a little bit of shade, I thought it would be cute just to come in and sit down in here. Then all my crazy jungle, my peas are going the opposite way. Um, they're like at an awkward height where they're not quite tall enough to start wrapping themselves around there but they're so tall that they flop over. Okay, so even they are on the drip system. More weeds, more weeds, and then, oh! I always forget that that little guy is right there. I always almost step on him. But this is my corn. It's getting so tall, and I'm so excited for this. This is my first time that I've ever planted corn before. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to weed it out or not, so I've been leaving it. So I don't know, vibrant or seeds, am I supposed to weed it out or can I leave it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's like a rainbow glass heirloom corn. Um, so it's super pretty corn. But I'm so excited, look how tall they are. So now I'm back along that fence. This right here, if you guys are wondering what the heck are they doing with their garden <laughs> around it. Well, you guys, it is so windy out here, um, like 80% of the time. It's not windy right now because, of course, in the early morning and the evening, we don't really get much wind. But every other minute of the day, it is so windy that it just wrecks our plants. So we slowly we're going to put more of that fence all around our garden area and use it as a wooden block. Um, some beans, those are beans. I can tell they're beans whenever I'm like next to them, but far away. And there's some more beans. I think. So there's the little random onion patch over there. And all this, these are walkways. We got these flat rocks from my brother-in-law's property. It, we hauled so many rocks, you guys. <laughs> and then we got some free wood chips from a local wood mill. And that's what we did our... That's what we did our pathway with. And then our greenhouse, we made this all out of recycled materials. Um, we found all of our windows, well, this stuff we had to buy, that stuff we had to buy. Um, these big things up here, we got those at the auction, And but all of our windows were free that we found on Facebook, and all of these posts were free. So a lot of it, we spent very minimal, but we spent very little on this greenhouse to build it. Um, we wanted to do it as free as we could, but there was just some things we had to buy because it's hard to find for free, and the time it would take to find it, who knows how long that would be. But we did this year, we did um, all of our tomatoes in these gigantic pots. You can't really tell in the video how big they are, but I mean, they're big pots. And this is like an effective way for now until we, because all of our dirt is like clay out here. So we have a lot of soil um, improvement that we need to be doing, which is a very slow process. But these are all tomatoes. These are my loofahs. This one is one that I started actually from seed. My very first loofah I ever grew. And this and then this loofah I got from Vibrant Earth Seeds. I actually got four of them, but this is the only one that survived me. <laughs> we'll just be honest. Um, I'm not a very good grower of anything yet, but I'm learning. Um, you gotta, to learn, you have to just do it, right? So there's some eggplants. 
super tiny. Those take forever to grow for us. I don't know why. We have some jalapenos that we got from Vibrant Earth. Um, Alex planted some okra in here. He loves okra. I personally can't stand it. It's slimy and weird. I like it when it's in stuff, but most of the time I actually just pick it up. But everything in here is on a drip system also. And it's loud because we have some fans because it gets hot in here pretty quick. So we need good ventilation to help cool it off. So we open up the windows and turn on the fans um, in the heat of the day. Um, I do want to paint the outside of our greenhouse because we have metal on this side. Um, we're actually going to be installing more windows onto this side eventually. Um, Alex underestimated um, how much the sun would actually shine in being on this side with our barn right here and our old greenhouse that is like storage area has been everything on this farm. But um, we're going to put in more windows on this side as we come across more free windows. But I want to paint this. So once I find, because remember we're, we're trying to do everything as free as possible. So if I ever find like some paint um, that I come across a bunch of paint, I want to repaint all this metal so that it's cute and one color and kind of cottagey. And yeah. So who knew that my quick mini tour would actually turn into a full tour? <laughs> It was just too fun, right? I enjoyed it. I like to come out here. We like to come out here with the kids in the morning and have coffee out here. And then in the evening, we like to come back out here again and just sit out here. It's really nice. We got some old goats out there grazing right now. I call them the old goats because they're our oldest goats. This is gonna be a barn. We're not done with it yet. We still have this side to side. There's going to be stalls in there. We're going to have windows on this side. Half of it will be for hay storage. The other half will be like just to bring animals in out of the weather. What you doing? Um, You're what? Working. Walk. Oh, work. And so as you can see, I thought there was a car over there, but it's just our trailer. As you can see, nothing on our farm is um, aesthetically pleasing or Instagram worthy, but it is very efficient. We did a lot of this for free, um, and that's what um, real homesteading is all about. <laughs> um, if you're really truly living off of what you have. So I like it. I love the character of it, actually. Um, I actually prefer it. That other stuff, like, it's super pretty. Like, there's a lot of hobby homestead accounts, and they have, like, beautiful areas. Um, but I really like how we have it, because there's a lot more character. It's a lot more fun, and um, it's, it's um, super enjoyable to see. It's, like, super enjoyable to see, like, what you can build or make or accomplish or create from finding things that people, um, you know, things that are still usable that people are just going to throw out or whatever. Like, it's super fun. It's a challenge and it's fun. And so a lot of it, you know, there's character and then there's a lot of like fun memories to go with it. Like, hey, remember when... I posted on Facebook looking for metal and literally some guy like an hour later was like, I just recited my shed and I have this huge pile of metal, come over and you can have it for free. And that's what most, a lot of this barn we sided with that free metal. <laughs> like that was a total score. Metal's expensive. To side all of this, it can get pricey. So it's Maggie. Was it Maggie? Oh, we have crows. I don't know if you if you guys have kids that watch um, Steve and Maggie, but we have a couple crows that fly around here and rob our duck eggs, and he calls them all Maggie. <laughs> but now I have to go inside and cook dinner.
We're going to have pork chops. And I don't know what else. But pork chops for sure. What are you guys having for dinner?